Figure B 8.1 shows a diagram of an iron core electromagnet. So this is a diagram that we have right over here. And for the first question, they're saying, okay, state two ways in which the strength of the electromagnet in figure B 8.1 can be increased. So what they're trying to ask us here is to find ways on how magnetism can be increased here. So one way will simply be to increase the number of these tens. Can you see the tens here? So the tens, when they are increased, the magnetism will also increase. That's how it works. So you can see how many do we have here? There are about three. One, two, three. So if you increase, let's say we take it to 10, the magnetism here will increase. And the other way will simply be by increasing the voltage or the number of batteries or using the battery with the, the higher voltage. Okay? So let's say there are two batteries. You put 10 batteries. The magnetism here will increase. So your answers can be written like this. Increase the number of tens of a wire on the core you can see right over here i talked about the number of tens so once you increase these tens the magnetism will go higher so the other point is that uh, increase the current in the coil eg by using uh, a higher voltage battery so here once you increase the battery okay once you increase the battery the magnetism will also increase. Let's go to the next question. The next question, which is question B, they are saying, explain why core of the electromagnet is made of iron instead of steel. So look at this. The core that we're talking about is right over here. This is the core we are talking about. Now, why do you think this core is made out of iron instead of what instead of steel uh, one important point that you must keep in mind is that iron loses magnetism easily and also gets magnetized quickly that's what we can say okay so this is a switch so when you put it on as current is passing this iron will become magnetized fast and the moment you switch off it will lose its magnetism fast okay now the problem with steel is that it takes a little bit while to be magnetized and once it gets magnetized it uh, becomes permanent or it loses its magnetism uh, slowly it takes long that's what you can say about iron and in that case when it comes to electromagnetism it's not good to use steel because we want when we switch on the magnetism is on or it's there and when we switch off the magnetism disappears so that's how it is or that's why we use iron so let's see how we're supposed to write the answers so here iron is a soft material it is magnetized easily and loses its magnetism quickly when the current is switched off so it loses and it also gains okay while steel is a hard magnetic material once magnetized it stays magnetized for a long time okay which is not good isn't it which is not desirable for an electromagnet that needs to be switched on and off okay so this part switched on and off so this is what you need to know about iron and uh, steel thank you so much for watching please remember that we offer online tuitions if you want to be part of our online classes you can get in touch with us on this number this is uh, JS Lenny Academy. Thank you and bye-bye.